Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series where we will be playing together The Sims 2 Game Boy Advance Edition. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited these past couple of weeks without any Sims to play have been so hard, but we are back because we finished Sims Bustin' Out. We finished Sims Herbs, Sims in the City, and now, despite the name being Sims 2, um, I do believe this is the third kind of installment in this Game Boy Advance series that Sims did. I think this game, yeah, came out in 2005, as we see on the screen here, and I cannot be more excited. So we're going to play this game together, we're going to have fun. I'm not sure how many episodes this one will go because I only ever played this game once as a kid. Alright, I only played this game once. I played Bustin' Out and Herbs countless times throughout my life. But Sims 2 was definitely by far my least favorite. And I only played it once. So I'm not like an expert at this game. I don't know all the lore behind many things. Um... So it's going to kind of be like a learning experience as we go. I remember very little, but that does not take away from my excitement because I'm so, so, so excited and I hope you are too. So buckle in, uh, get a snack, get a drink, get a little thing of popcorn because we're going to start playing The Sims 2 today and I'm so, so, so excited. Also the music. Can we just take a moment for the music? I swear the soundtracks on these games are the best things to ever exist in my life. Ah, that's just so fun. Alright, well without any further ado, I say we just get right on into it and we start this new series. Oh my goodness. I feel like so excited. This is only the third time I've done like a series opener on my channel, so I'm very excited. And if you have played this game, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you have any non-spoiler tips, well, I did play this game already, but I don't really remember much, but any tips or tricks or anything I should know before delving deeper into the game. Um, but other than that, I think we're just going to start and kind of see where things lead us. So here we have The Sims 2 Game Boy Advance Edition, and we're just gonna, we're gonna press start. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh... Create a sim. All right, we're creating a sim, people. Ooh. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna continue my Chris character. That is my name, but that is also our Sims name that has gone through, has gone through a lot. Chris has gone through a lot, all right? He's been through Sims busting out. He's defeated Daddy Big Bucks twice. <laughs> is he gonna come back in this series? We will find out. All right, so we're just gonna do Chris. Ooh, okay, let's see. Uh, that's good. Skin tone, we will go... We will just go with that one, I suppose. Alright, hairstyle. Hairstyle. Can I be honest and say I really love <laughs> how little options there are? Robbie and I were playing Stardew Valley now. We're starting to play Stardew Valley and there are so many like styles of hair and clothes you could choose and it's just like a little bit overwhelming, right? I don't know. Okay, gotta be honest, none of these really match me though, so I kind of take that back. I do wear a beanie quite often. Um, I don't have my long hair anymore. I don't have short hair. Well, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I'm gonna go with the beanie. That's that's kind of cute. Chris is going with a beanie. Oh, hair color. Oh, I can't even see. All right, we're just gonna go with a, a light brown. All right, one of those first ones will be fine. Maybe like the yeah, that's fine. All right, and then the beanie color. Now you guys, my favorite beanie here at home <laughs> is gray. <laughs> I have like a gray beanie that is like my baby. Um, so I think we have to go with the gray. Yeah, when I started doing TikTok, like back in 2020, 
every single one of my videos I was wearing a gray beanie. Um, okay, shirt style. Ooh. Definitely don't wear a lot of tank tops. Don't wear a lot of short sleeves. That has like two layers on it. This has three layers on it. Um, I kind of like just the long sleeve look. And it's funny too because I don't even really remember what like the animations in this game look like. Or like when you talk to people or how you walk around. Like I really don't even remember. So I'm very curious. But I do remember that it does somewhat follow the same game storyline style as herbs and busting out in the sense that you have like goals i think but it's a little bit different so we'll get into that when we do and you know what i'm gonna go i like the green but i'm gonna go with the blue because i'm wearing blue right now and i kind of wanna i kind of wanna uh memorialize what i'm wearing what am i just saying i have no idea I want to represent what I was wearing the first day I started the game, I guess. Okay, we're going to go with sh uh, pants. I do not wear a lot of shorts, and I'm currently wearing like a khaki mustard. Honestly, I kind of like, eh, kind of like these colors. Is this an outfit we chose in the herbs? I feel like I chose this exact same outfit. All right, I'm going to go with those. But yeah, that's okay. Uh-oh. Aspiration. Wait, we don't get to choose shoes? <gasps> How dare they? Um, alright. Aspiration. Friendly. Earn ratings by having friend conversations. Romantic. Earn ratings by having romance conversations. Intimidating. Earn ratings by having intimidate conversations. Oh. Well... Definitely not that one. Um, maybe we'll go with the romantic. We'll be a little bit of a flirt this game. Even though I feel like in every single game we've played, <laughs> you just like kind of make everyone fall in love with you and it's fun. Um, all right. Yeah, we'll do that. Not Daddy Big Bucks again! Are you serious? Welcome to my boardroom, Chris. You're here to help me make this show number one. If you do, you and I will both be rich, rich, rich. Now, before we start the real episodes, I've got a bit of a training for you to do. Remember, no one else knows that they are being filmed with hidden cameras. Don't let it slip. We're making a show? We're making a show. But no one else knows. Okay. Oh. For your first foray into Strange Town, I'll be coming along with you. I want to make sure you don't mess things up right away. I won't be with you in person. If anyone found out I was controlling all this, it would spoil the show. No, I've had my people develop an ultra small earphone that you'll wear with you at all times so I can talk to you without anyone else knowing. Now get out there, I'll walk you through your first day in Strange Town. Go earn me those ratings. What? Oh, I'm so tall. I feel like I'm so tall. <gasps> uh oh. New plot points. Press start. Oh. It all began. Go upstairs and explore the town. Okay. Uh, I could do that. Oh my god, look at me. I feel so tall. I feel like zoomed in a little bit. Just compared to like the herbs and the busting out. Alright, before we continue. I just kind of want to get a lay of the land of my start screen. So we have our plot points. I guess that's what our goals are called. I don't really know. Oh! We have the cast? Okay, I don't want to get spoiled just yet, so I'm not going to look at all the characters. Props? We have our money, we have our, our recyclables that we pick up, I, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is like our inventory. Is this like our inventory? And our skill points. 
<laughs> hotness, <laughs> hotness, intellect, confidence. Okay. When empty-handed, you can start conversations and use objects. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, people. I'm a little overwhelmed. All right, well, let's go upstairs because that's, oh. This is your house, Chris. Get to know it well, because you'll be living here for quite some time. You'll need to get some furniture for it, but that can wait. Of course, there are certain things that can't wait, which is why I've got my team working on getting you a toilet. It won't be anything fancy, but it'll do what it needs to do. Well, thank you. Uh, until then, go outside and see the town. Okay. Also, is this green bar, like, my health? Uh-oh. Okay. I know in the other games you could, like, uh... go between like seeing a full bar and the individual bars so I'm not sure also this house is really not my vibe I just gotta be honest I like this room this room's cute I like the bo I like the little boards on the wall but all those other rooms and what is this why is this room like a cement and why is this flooring have stars on it all right we're just gonna we're just gonna go we're just gonna go in, in the town and explore uh oh Ah, there's one of your neighbors now. Oh, really? Oh, <gasps> it's Dusty Hog! You guys! Oh my goodness! It's Dusty Hog! That's Dusty Hog. He's a dirty, rough biker guy. Definitely not my crowd. Why don't you go make friends with him? It's always nice to have a tough friend watching your back in a new town. I love Dusty Hog. Oh, he's coming over to me. <gasps> hey, what's up? You just moved into this house? Then we're neighbors. My name's Dusty Hog. This is a great town. I'm sure you'll be glad you moved here. Quit the idle chit chat. If you want to make friends with this guy, you're going to need to do more than just say what's up. Have a friendly conversation. Do that now. Once you start the conversation, just do things that'll make him like you. Oh, shoot. Here a mark. Here a mark. Oh. Here a mark. Here a mark. Okay. Here a mark. You earned friendly one with Dusty Hog. Cool. Hey, all right, I only met you a few minutes ago, but it feels like we've been friends for years. Whoa, is that the time? I gotta go run some errands, Chris. Talk to you later. Come, take me. Take me with you. I don't want to be alone here in this new town by myself. Ha ha ha, perfect. You played him like a drum. These chumps won't know what hit him. Once you insinuate yourself into the lives of the people in town, it'll be easier to cause plenty of ratings, earning wackiness. As you have more conversations, you'll get better and better at using your socials to make them feel... Wait. Oh shoot. I did not re read that. Want them to feel. <laughs> you'll need to learn new socials at some point. Because not all the people in town will respond to the same moves. If somebody isn't responding to a move, try a different one. Oh my goodness, this guy is in my ear like crazy. Oh, I almost forgot. I've made a deposit in your bank account with some simoleons to get you started. But we don't want to arouse any suspicion, so from now on you'll need to do odd jobs or play games around town to make money. If these saps are going to believe you're just a new neighbor, you're going to need to buy some furniture. Head to the pawn shop, it's just up the road. By the time you get back, my props department will have installed your toilet. Lucky you. Buy a piece of furniture from the pawn shop. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're in like the desert. Can I pick that up? Can I go in here? Oh! <gasps> Is this Dusty Hog's little house? 
Honestly, kind of cute. All right, how do I leave? Okay, he said pawn shop up the street. So this is my house, huh? This is my little abode here. Okay, uh-oh. Who's littering on my, on my property? Okay, well, I guess before we explore anything further... Well, I don't know what to do. <gasps> oh, is that more trash, too? Oh, cool. All right. Um... I kind of want to explore a little bit. Is this, like, the hospital? Is Maximilian Moore here? Or is there a new doctor in town? Okay. There's like two rooms here. Oh. Is this where the doctor sleeps? Um, alright, honestly, I want to go to the uh, pawn shop before they possibly close. So yeah, I'm going to go there right now. Ooh, okay. Okay, where is the- uh-oh. Is that it? Oh, that's cute. It's like a little pawn on it. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna walk, because running kind of makes me nervous. <gasps> oh! We meet again. What's up? Get in furnishings for your house? Ah, uh, yeah, it's always tough to start out fresh in a new place. That's why my house is on wheels. I just hitch it to my bike and drive to the next town. If you need to buy something, just walk up to the shopkeeper and start talking. The store gets a delivery of new stuff every day, so keep coming back if you don't see what you like. I came here looking for a doohickey for my bike. No luck, though. A what? Oh. Oh, look how fancy. Oh, okay, green shower. I love that. Um, I need a bed. Okay, something is telling me I need to buy all of this. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have bought the couch because I, I have a bed. Oh no, I should have bought the refrigerator. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Looks like you got some pretty killer stuff, so wanna go check out my bike? It's a classic dual... Whoa, looks like you need to get yourself to a toilet quick. There'll be time for motorcycles later. Man, go take care of your business. Use a toilet? I gotta go potty! Thank you for the furniture. Uh-oh. The toilet's installed, kid. The rest is up to you. Well, it looks like we got to it just in time. Hurry before you make a mess. I'm not going to bail you out of jail if you let your urgencies get the best of you. Heck, that'd probably make for some great television. Well, honestly... Something else you need to be aware of is your performance meter. You need to be at your best if you're going to be acting all day. Keep your performance meter up by taking care of your basic needs. You can't act if you need to fill your stomach and be sure to take care of your urgencies as soon as they appear or the meter will decrease rapidly. Alright, pretty standard Sims game functionality going on. Alright, let's go use our bathroom because I feel like... Oh, not this audio. Okay, I thought it would be in there. It's not in there. <gasps> Wait. Why is there... Uh, hello? Hiya, any good film showing this week? I was hoping to catch the new Zofbarg Skiffle Oolong film, but there's no listing for it. Might not be playing on this planet, I guess. So can I help you with something? You sort of caught me in a private moment here. Get the hint? Oh my god, look at how mean he is! Oh my god, in other words, get out of here before I irritate your eyeballs and devour your brain. Thanks, kid. Hey, I have to use the toilet. I need to use this bathroom. I'm a bit hungry for some human brains right now. I wonder where I'd find some at this hour. Scram. Hmm, I'm a bit hungry for some. Okay. 
Okay. Uh... That was part of the show? Really, Daddy Big Bucks? That was... That, that was Burple. Burple. He's one of the alien actors I brought in to stir things up. He got here early, though, so I told him to stay hidden in your house. <laughs> if you want to convince him to give up his place on the porcelain throne, you're going to have to be tough. Next time you talk to him, approach him with an intimidating attitude. Try to beat him at his own game. Oh. Intimidate the alien off the toilet? Oh. Okay. Do I have to? I think I have to. <gasps> oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. Oh my gosh. You earned Intimidating 1 with Burple. I didn't want to. Well there, calm down you petulant human gas bag. Jeez, can a creature answer the call of nature in peace? Bah, when the rest of my people find me stranded on this planet, you're hosed. See you around, you whiner. <gasps> oh, is my toilet gonna stay green? <gasps> Daddy Big Bucks. Look, Chris, I don't want to have to come up here myself every time you're stuck with... What the heck? Did Burple do that? Aw, oh, jeez. Here, take this radiation squeegee and see what you can do. This is not a job for a fabulously wealthy man such as myself. Come talk to me in the boardroom when you've taken care of your, uh, business. What is happening right now? Fix the toilet? I still have to use the toilet. Like, I, I, I still have to use the toilet. Okay, good. It's white again. <laughs> I was gonna say, a green toilet. Oh, that was quick. Uh, can I use it now? Ah, oh, thank you. My goodness. What do I have to- Did this just break again? What does a sim have to do to use his toilet? Might as well just, uh... Repair this right now. Are we gonna start this again? Like in The Sims Herbs, my stuff was breaking every single time I used it. I would really appreciate that not happening again. Also, can I change the wall colors in this room? Uh, all right, cool. Look at all those goals we just did. Or plot points. Is that what they call them? Plot points? Okay. Meet Daddy Big Bucks in the boardroom down. So Daddy Big Bucks just like kind of lives in my house. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. Wait, he was in here, right? Yeah, I, I don't love that, but that's okay. Uh, took you long enough to take care of such a basic bodily function. Why is everyone in this game so mean? Um, before you get back to mingling with the locals, I've got something else you need to take care of. Periodically, we'll need to take a commercial break. And I want you involved. Commercials are so much cooler when they feature famous actors, don't you think? I'm a famous actor? Oh my god. Uh, don't worry, you'll be paid for your performance if it's good. Are you ready? Okay, action. <gasps> what is this? What is this? What is this? King Chug Chug. Don't let King Chug Chug catch you. Oh no, tap the A button repeatedly to run away, but be careful. If you run too fast, your cola will explode. <laughs> Press down to drink and relieve the pressure, and up to jump over obstacles. Oh, we're being chased? Oh no, okay. Tap the A button to run away, down to drink, and up to jump. Okay. You guys, this is really kind of scary. I'm gonna take a little sip. Am I going too fast? <gasps> oh shoot, okay, I'm gonna take a sip. Oh? Run! 
run! This is absolutely terrifying. Oh my goodness. I need to take a sip. But he's he's gonna catch me. Oh, he did it. Oh no. Game over. Oh. Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? The more exciting commercials we show, the more rating points we get. And that means more simoleons in my pocket. Oh, and yours too, right. But not nearly as much as mine. While you were gone, Dusty called and said he wanted to meet you in the saloon. Sounds like you did something wrong. I think you're in trouble, but you better go meet him there. Oh, and take this cell phone. It's wired with a microphone so the viewers will be able to hear your conversations. Whenever you meet someone, their number will be saved in your phone, in case you want to call them. Have a look, Dusty's number should already be in there. Now get yourself down to the saloon pronto. Okay. How do I use my phone? I'm just kind of curious. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's right there. <laughs> my cell phone is right there. Wow, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, you know what? Before we go to Dusty Hogs, I would really appreciate making this place look a little more homey. I gotta be honest, so I'm gonna put down some stuff. Oh, can I not even do that yet? Oh, okay. Um. Something wasn't allowing me to... I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm not really sure how to change that. All right, we're gonna make my bedroom this little room right here because it's nice and small and I do like a little cozy bedroom. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's kind of too big. So that's a really big bed. Um, okay, and we'll put my couch. We'll put my... Oh! Dude, where are you? I'm at the saloon waiting for you. For your sorry rear to get over here. Hurry up. Hey! 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 Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of decorating my house. Thank you very much. That's a little bit more important to me. Okay, well, I think that is where we will end episode one of uh, The Sims 2. Wow, okay, so we're in, what did they call it, Strange Town? I am just gonna pause it just so we don't, it doesn't get too much later on in the day. Um, we are like in Strange Town and we're on a show and yeah, I don't know why I feel the need to <laughs> summarize all this even though we just watched the whole thing happen but okay we are officially in the game so thank you all for watching episode one of the sims 2 and i hope to see you in the next episode bye <laughs>